Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. In this Hearthstone Mercenaries Nestled Event Task Guide, I'm going to take a look at task number 2, Ice Sculpting. Complete the Ice Hull Bounty without any blocks of ice on the board in Winter Spring. Note that you can do this in normal Winter Spring and that is highly preferred because Winter Spring Thrash is legendary and it's so much easier to climb to the boss in normal than it is in Heroic. I completed this task with a full cost comp and with a budget comp. And the full cost comp is basically it's just the same comp that I use for Heroic Ice Hull anyway. So I'm using Malfurion with Life Root Staff, Rukan with Lightning Rod, and Guff with Bramble Torn Totem. The rest doesn't really matter. I have Anacron Drop Ride with a couple of other nature things in the bench, and I have Kooki with Appetizers giving some help, but those are really of minor importance because the Nature Squad is perfectly capable of beating down Ice Hull. So what you want to do is you want to shoot down Ice Hull first, then you want to shoot down any remaining blocks of ice, and then finish off the Yeti, and boom, that's done. And this can also be done with the Budget Nature Squad without Malfurion. So for the Budget team, for the climb, I use the classic Cariel Cyril Samuro, so I have Cariel with Tom Flight, Cyrella with Radiant Wand, and Samuro with Burning Blade. And then for the boss fight, I go with the Nature Squad, Lady Anaconda with Toxic Venom, Rukan with Lightning Rod, and Guff with Bramble Torn Totem. And, and the same strategy again. Shoot down Ice Howl, get rid of your blocks of ice, get rid of Yeti, and boom, it's done. And this is what it looks like. In action. Alright, Ice Howl. Whenever this destroys a character, transform it into a block of ice. So, I want to position my characters like this, so the blocks are in between. So then I can move the blocks so that they will block Ice Howl's attacks. And because I need to finish the fight without any blocks remaining, then I want to first shoot down Ice Howl, so avoiding all random damage treasures. And first we shoot down Ice Howl, and after Ice Howl is done, then we shoot the blocks before we kill off the others. And Ice Howl now is attacking the leftmost min enemy, so we're going to move this to the left so that this will... This will tank the hit. Here we go. Yep, just taking that damage. Oh, wow. Getting damage into Ice Howl. Right, Ice Hull's next move, attack the enemies opposite of this Merc. So now we're able to slide this one over here, while we keep blasting at Ice Hull here. Pow pow and pow wow. Right. Actually, I'm not sure if there's going to be an Ice Howl left to even take down my block of ice. And it seems that there actually just isn't. Alright. Then we need to get rid of these blocks of ice. And we could also get rid of one of the Yetis at this point. One Yeti... It will be too hard for that one Yeti to suicide. So I can start doing something to those. I can start shooting a little bit at the Eddy. Malfurion's Life Root Staff here actually healing my blocks of ice. But with all the ramping nature damage, I will be able to overpower that healing reasonably easily. Alright. One more hit into that, so then there's only one Yeti left. And that will make it that much easier. That much easier to just overpower my old blocks of ice. While of course healing up. And right now only one Yeti left. So not that many threats remain. One block of ice down. Starting to work with the second block of ice. And 
here we go to that block of ice. Sinister strike. Not the sinister strike actually. Just not going to do much of anything, right? And no, it's, it's going to be totally fine. So here we go. Blasting at my remaining block of ice. Pow pow. And then blasting that Yeti down. And that's going to be Nessot task number two. With the Nature Squad. Nature Squad was already part of my old guide for this heroic version of this bounty. This can be done in normal. And it is still good because it can shoot its own minions. So killing those blocks of ice. Alright, Nessot task 2 with the budget squad so still nature squad i don't have malfurion here but i'm using an Akondra as a replacement and positioning them like this so blocks of ice are ready to be moved to wherever ice how decides to start attacking and my plan here is a simple one we're going to kill the ice howl and after we're done with ice howl then we can start working on the yetis and then kill the blocks of ice when there's one Yeti left. I actually now had the Gaster Boon to make these abilities faster, and that's that's bad. Yeah, that actually sucks for me right now. Oopsie, don't pick up Gaster Boons, I guess. Is the lesson, but well. Let's see. This should still be doable, even though that boon actually may makes my team weaker instead of making it stronger. Ironic, don't you think? Just a bit too ironic, I do think. And the enemy is opposite of this smirk. Okay, you can you can keep doing that. That's fine. Sinister striking, sinister striking. Going to keep blasting at that one here. They will be attacking here. Unless this come at three speed. But if I iron bark. Do muddy footing here. Then actually coffee's going to get some health. But then this one. It's going to be able to take those hits. I can also slide this one. This will be fine. Right? I think this will work well. Because now Guff is no longer the lowest health... Lowest health mercenary here. Actually, this one is tanking the hits. Beautiful. But I still need to kill the Ice Howl. Second enemy is opposite of the smirk. Again? Really? Alright, alright. We need to kill the dice hole right now. Yeah. Once we get rid of the ice hole, everything after that should be fine. Alright, there goes the ice hole. Get some damage into the yetis. It is are now hitting these. That's excellent. That's excellent. So then we're just going to keep shooting at the Yetis. Also need to kill this one though. Can I do chain lightning? I don't want the cold snap to. I really want to do it like this here. Yeah, let's do it like this. So we get rid of the last block of ice. Okay, no more blocks of ice. Now all I have to do is get rid of these yetis and that's going to be game. Or they get some attacks in, but now one yeti is down. Only one yeti left. It's going to aimless assault. That will not do much. Because we're 
coming in with some blasting here. And yeah, so even without Malfurion, this is still a fairly simple task for the Nature Squad. Also in its budget iteration. And boom, done. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the content, please click the like button, subscribe to my channel, and check out my Twitch channel.